So class, we did the IPO chart for y equals 4x and y equals 4x plus 7. This is from last year, you guys did this, so I just did a review with y'all. So when you did your input, I took random numbers. We did the input as x, plugged it in four times each input. I gave you these answers and those becomes your y, that's your output. So when you write an ordered pair, it's written as x comma y. So take the x and the y, put it in ordered pair and under parentheses, that's your ordered pair. So we're going to plot these. You repeat the same process for y equals 4x plus 7, that's the question given to you. you we are going to graph that equation. We are using the same x values that you had from, uh, when you were using y equals 4x. Plugged it in for x and you solved it, that's your process. So you got your output, so x is negative 5, y is negative 13, hence x comma y, the ordered pair is negative 5 comma negative 13. So we did that today. Now, on the front side, we went ahead and graphed those points and we plotted the, plotted the points and graphed the line and then we labeled them as y equals 4x and y equals 4x plus 7. Remember not to switch them because the one that goes to the origin, that's the one that's the form y equals kx. So this is y equals 4x. The other one has a y-intercept. So we didn't talk about y-intercept. Wherever the line, the orange line in this situation, is cutting the y-axis. Here's your y-axis, the line y equals 4x plus 7 cuts right here at 0 comma 7. That's where your y-intercept is. So y-intercept, we didn't talk about y-intercept, what we said b. y-intercept is your letter b in the equation mx plus b. And so uh, we, um, we talked about 0 comma 7 as 0 comma b. So in our situation, b is 7. b is equal to, so y-intercept is 7. Just remember that for your test. You might need that. Okay, but I'm going to show you a trick as to how to solve this. Um, so I'm going to use a different paper for a set of uh, sixth period that I used. Now, let's say you were just given the equation y equals 4x and you were given the equation y equals 4x plus 7. Let's say you didn't have any of these uh, numbers from your IPO chart. How do you figure this out? Step one, you know this looks like a proportional relationship. So for a proportional relationship, one of the points is 0 comma 0 because it goes to the origin. So here it is, 0 comma 0. All right. Now your k, y equals kx. Your k is your slope. k is 4. So 4 is your slope, and I can write 4 as 4 over 1, which is the same as writing positive 4 over positive 1. Well, k is also rise over run. So my rise in this situation is up 4 units, and run in this situation is going right 1 unit because it's positive. So right 1 unit. So I pick a point, 0, 0, right there. Start over there. Here's my 0, 0. I'm going up 4, positive 4, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then right 1, right 1. There it is. Still lands on the point. So you don't have to do an IPO chart. You're going to do up 4, right 1. Up 4, right one and you can always land the points the plot then you can plot the points when you draw the line through it all those points should put on the same line and the line is represented by y equals 4x okay the next one y equals 4x plus 7 here's what the difference is y equals mx plus b that one was y equals kx proportional this is your non-proportional in a non-proportional one, 
your B is 7. B is also called the y-intercept. B is your y-intercept, so 0 comma B is 0 comma 7. So this gives you the point 0 comma 7. Find the point 0 comma 7. I'm going to do that on a separate sheet, 0 comma 7. Here's your 0 comma 7. That's your point, 0 comma 7. That's your first point for y equals 4x plus 7. Now, this one, same thing. M, slope, M is 4. B is 7. 4 means 4 over 1, which is the same as positive 4 over positive 1. What does that tell you? Your slope, we can find the next point by going up 4 over right 1, because that's your rise over run. You rise 4 and you run 1. That's what that represents. If it was a negative, you're running left. If it was a negative, you're rising 4 units down. Going down 4 units, What's that? that's what that means. So slope will be up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and you go right 1. So right 1, here's your next point. You go do it, do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Plot your point. 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. Plot your point. Let's say you got to go back. So if you're going up 4, right 1, you should do left 1, down 4. Plot. 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 Once you plot all these points, you can just take a ruler, set it down, and draw the line through it. All those lines should fall uh, on the same, all those points should fall on the same line as you can see. They all fall on the same line and that is represented by y equals 4x plus 7. That's what we learned today. So that's the trick we learned how, how we can use rise over run, which is important, which is a slope, which is the same as delta y over delta x. Hope we can use this 